you guys asked, we're going to go deep on Armour Thyroid. What is it? What makes it different from Levo? I, I tried it. I had a bad reaction. Can I switch from Levo to it? All of the things, okay? Armour is a form of what's called natural desiccated thyroid. It's the same class of medication as NP. It is pig thyroid gland, ground down, made into medicine. It is part inactive hormone, just like Levo's all inactive hormone, Synthroid's all inactive hormone, and it's part active thyroid hormone. That's why a lot of people feel better on it, right? Um, many of us do not convert inactive hormone efficiently to active, and that means we're on Levo, we're on Synthroid, we're on nothing, but we're feeling a lot of thyroid symptoms because we can't activate our hormones. Armor helps to solve that by providing some short, some active thyroid hormone. Um, Armor is short acting. I dose my patients in the morning and again around three, two to three p.m. If you do take it once a day, and tell me how you feel at three or four p.m. Put it in the comments because most likely you crash and burn. You feel foggy at three p.m. You hit a wall every day, so that symptomatically isn't good. But also, it's not good at regulating your feedback mechanism of your thyroid. Often with once a day dosing of armor, someone's TSH has a hard time coming down. Everything doesn't balance in response. So twice a day dosing. Um, what else, what else? Oh yeah, let's talk about the switch from Levo to armor. This is complicated. It's complicated. Levothyroxine, Synthroid, Tyrosine, Unithroid, all of these meds have an extremely long half-life. What does that mean? That means if you're on Levo and you stop taking it today, don't take it again. Half of it is still in your system in seven to nine days. Long acting, whereas armor is short acting. That's why you have to take it twice a day, especially the active component in it, peaks and troughs in about six to eight hours. So what happens when people say, oh my gosh, McCall, I tried armor. I had a really bad reaction. I don't do well with it. No, what honestly happens 99.9% .9 of the time is their clinician says, okay, we're gonna switch you from Levo to armor. Today's Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday, I want you to stop your Levo and start the equivalent calculated dose of armor according to textbooks. So they stop Levo, they put them on the full dose of armor. You know what happens when that happens? They double their dose of thyroid medication, y'all. So of course it's uncomfortable. You feel jittery, stimulated, palpitations, over-caffeinated, anxious, just uneasy. Yeah, you just doubled someone's thyroid medication dose. So in fact, if this happened to you, it's not an incompatibility with armor or NP. It's poor knowledge on your clinician's part of how to effectively transition you. At Modern Thyroid Clinic, we transition slowly. So we reduce a little levo, let it leave people's systems over time, slowly add on a little armor, allow that to stabilize, get labs return. We repeat that process. We reduce levo a little bit, slowly add in armor as levo leaves their system. And we do that until we successfully transition them off. My preferred method, of treating people who are on Levo who want active thyroid hormone is not to transition to armor actually, it's to layer in Cytomel or Lyothyronine, which is pure T3, to their Levo. So instead of having desiccated thyroid of T4 and T3 in active and active hormone, you just make that with Levothyroxine or Synthroid and Cytomel. T4, T3, they take both and all is well and they don't have to go through that whole transition period. So I know that was a lot, I hope it was super useful. Save this later for later and tag a friend, comment. Y'all please engage with this content. Love y'all.